Hello, I'm Bobby Briggs. I'm webmaster of Bobby Horror Fan, and I'm doing the video that I have promised everybody. Here is the famous theme, and if you don't know it, you are deeply sheltered. Trick or treated to death tonight. You don't know what death is. Classic theme. Alan Howarth got it down pat with John Carpenter's original score. You know, I started to play this on my mom's uh, old keyboard that we gave to my nephews. I couldn't get to the last part of it, but I started doing this. We are talking about what you're hearing is the Halloween theme. And Halloween was conceived in 1977, the summer of summer, Son of Sam, ABBA, Disco, Saturday Night Fever, uh... I was just a young tyke then. I was barely born. Uh, Michael Myers became, you know, an iconic character later on, of course. But this movie was supposed to be called The Babysitter Murders. And Deborah Hill, who was unknown at the time, was at the producer. She is dead now. Uh, she, her talents in the horror genre were very deeply appreciated. And she's missed. Uh, she worked with John Carpenter, and the plan was to get Ann Lockhart and Christopher Lee in to play the roles of Samuel Loomis and Laurie Strode. It didn't quite pan out that way. I don't know what happened, but she came up with the idea of looking into the vaults of horror and, and the screen guild for the actors, and Janet Lee came up. Of course, Janet Lee would be too old to be playing Laurie Strode, but they heard that she had a daughter named Jamie Lee Curtis, who was just starting out as her as an actress. Uh, she was in the Hardy Boys and Columbo and I think Starsky and Hutch. Well, after these small appearances, they said, We've got our we've got our person. And they came in, had her scream and they said, we've got the perfect scream queen here. She's just like her mother. Uh, Lori Strode was born. Jamie Lee Curtis started playing her. The script came up as the boy who kills his sister. Goes off to the sanitarium for 15 years. Decides to break out. He goes after the nurse and Loomis and drives off into the night. And starts stalking these three teenagers, of course. This is where the quote babysitter murders title came from. Uh, he goes after them as they're babysitting these kids. Michael's backstory comes into play with Lori being his sister. She was born after he was incarcerated. So they play on the fact that Michael is kind of telekinetic and he knows she's his sister. And... It just turns into this whole thing with he has to get her, just like he got the other sister. Uh, Halloween was followed by a sequel in 1981 called Halloween 2. That was the theme that I played for it. Uh, starring again, Jamie Lee Curtis, Donald Pleasance, and a slew of B-movie actors that later on hit the big time, like Lance Guest. We saw him years later in The Last Starfighter, and he was in Jaws the Revenge, and there was a couple other people. There was Pamela Susan Shoup, who was known for Empire of the Ants with uh, Joan Crawford, Joan uh, Collins, not Crawford, what am I thinking? Uh, there's too many Jones in Hollywood. Uh, <laughs> there's... Um, Anna Alicia, who was also known for uh, Falcon Crest. She played Crazy Melissa. And so Halloween 2 followed Michael going into uh, the hospital and killing all the nurses. And yes, I have a couple of really good kill favorite kills in that movie. Pamela Susan Shoup, I, I had the hots for, and I think she's a beautiful woman. I don't know what she looks like now, but... 
I'm sure she's still beautiful, but you know, she's got to be 60 or 70 years old. But anyway, she gets the infamous uh, drowning in the therapy tub. Bud goes in and plays with the buttons to make it hotter. And you see the shadow of Michael come out and he grabs him and he comes out. He puts his hand on her shoulder. She's like, Bud, we're gonna, we'll get together later after I get done with work. And Michael goes like this, and she goes, now, bud, and she looks up at him, and he puts her head right down into the water and burns her face right off. And Anna Alicia got quite a death scene in that, too. She goes to see the doctor in his office, and the iconic part in that movie is also used in in some of the covers for Halloween on the DVDs. His face morphs into the darkness after, like, right before... He injects her temple with a hypodermic syringe. So anyway, Michael's face was used for that, you know, on the uh, later DVDs. Uh, The thing is with Michael is he has that iconic mask. And I I didn't always like the masks. Uh, later on, his mask got to be very silly looking. I mean, what was that in part four? He didn't look like Michael Myers in part four, as far as I'm concerned. He didn't have that, that, uh, Captain Kirk look. I don't know, it looked like a mask with, you know, bulgy face. And, and then in Resurrection, he had eyebrows. Michael, Michael's original masks did not have eyebrows. And you did not see his eyes. So anyway... Some of the later masks were, you know what I liked? I liked the mask in uh, Rob Zombie's Halloween, the first Halloween. I didn't like how they ripped his face and and that you could see his face more. I didn't like that. That takes the mystique away. So anyway, part two of this video is going to be covering the later sequels. So I hope you enjoyed Halloween and Halloween 2. Uh, any, any questions, concerns? You could always email me or get me on Facebook. Uh, I look forward to H4O next year. Yes, Jamie Lee Curtis is returning as Laurie Strode. How they're going to explain this, I don't know, and I'm very thrilled to find this out. So stay tuned.